Hello everyone, today we're going to use the Red Spray Pine to control the water gun to automatically aim and shoot. In this tutorial, the machine vision is done by OpenCV. Modification method is provided. You can port the code to your own robot to run. Here, we focus on the part of image recognition and the output of the corresponding control information. At the end of the program, we will also provide a method to control the servo as a reference. As test code, it only needs to connect the Raspberry Pi and the camera. Here, we import the library needed for image recognition. Tolerance variable as latitude for automatic aiming range. The smaller the value, the higher the accuracy of automatic aiming. But at the same time, the requirements for the servo are also high. The two variables, xlock and ylock, are used to determine whether the object has been aimed. Here, we use the HSV color space to define a color to be recognized. After running the program, the robot will find the target within this color range in the frame from the camera. Initialize this program. Note that you need to remember the resolution you set here. Start getting images from the Raspberry Pi camera. If you are using a USB camera, you need to change the force here. Recognize the object in the target color in the frame. If the number of objects in the target color is greater than 1, select the largest one of them and aim. Get the coordinate value and radius of this largest target central point. In order to simplify the program, we only use coordinate values for aiming here. In fact, the latitude value will change more reasonably with the target radius. The more complex targeting methods will be provided in the future tutorials. Next is the main part of the program, and actually the simplest part. Determine whether the target is above or below, left or right on the center of the frame by the coordinate value of the central point. For example, if the coordinate value of the central point is below the center of the frame, then let the servo control the water gun to aim upwards. The amplitude to the top is the error value here. Replace the print function with the function of your own pen tooth control. If the Y value is within the range of aiming tolerance, assign Y lock to 1. If X lock and Y lock are both 1, then shoot. Due to the inevitable error, in fact, the water gun cannot shoot the center of the frame. Then you need to adjust the 240 and 320 here to collaborate the site. Finally, remember to clear the stream between captures. Otherwise, you will encounter a Pi camera value error such as incorrect buffer length for resolution. Here is our servo control program as reference. Subscribe and lots of interesting tutorials are coming up.